just like uh, other economies, uh, the Eastern Cape uh, provincial economy did not escape the negative impact of the coronavirus on the sectors of our economy, with our GDP contracting by negative 0, uh, 0.8 in the first quarter of 2020. Five of our industries that contracted are mining, uh, which was uh, down uh, quite uh, significantly manufacturing, also down by 8.6%, construction also down, electricity, uh, as well as uh, trade uh, was also down. This has resulted in loss of business, loss of jobs, increased poverty, increased crime, unemployment and contributing to inequality. The following industries of our economy expanded on a quarter on quarter basis with agriculture being up, uh, finance, transport and government services. To address the situation of low economic activity, we are moving from economic relief, relief to economic recovery and we are uh, premising this move on knowledge generation, uh, dialogues and action, uh, acknowledging the infrastructure uh, that it is the bedrock of our economic recovery. I think with all the work that National is doing in terms of uh, the infrastructure rollout uh, plan, uh, we see more opportunities as the province, but also we're quite happy with the tourism sector now that the minister has also allowed uh, more relaxation around that. Uh, so it gives us more and we are a tourist destination. We work more on tourism and our province gains a lot out of tourism. Our SME in that space will also have uh, their life back to normal. We are ensuring a rollout of critical economic infrastructure, monitoring functionality of freight and logistical infrastructure, payment of COVID-19, temporary employer-employee relief schemes, the monitoring of compliance on COVID-19, occupational health and safety act provisions utilizing government procurement for local economic development. We are considering and providing local incentives uh, such as rental rebates, etc., that promote retention of uh, investors and using uh, smart marketing initiatives. A framework to support informal traders has been developed uh, with ECDC uh, and incubation programs have been distributed to local municipalities. In the rollout of the FNP SMME incubation program, an inception meeting with the district was held and database for SMME to be incubated has been completed. Beneficiaries in the creative industry have been briefed on the process to receive support and in the sport and recreation sector, uh, 207 applications for assistance were received from beneficiaries. Funding for three distressed businesses was approved uh, to the value of 5.8 million, saving 581 jobs uh, in Nelson Mandela. Uh, also, more work in BCM uh, has been done uh, also saving 1,601 uh, 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 jobs. About 1,754 vouchers were issued by the Department of Agriculture, uh, Land Affairs or Land Reform and Rural Development to farmers and further 278 vouchers to farmers distributed by the Department of Rural Development and Agrarian Reform. The province is supporting vulnerable households with food production packs and the delivery of food production packs is expected to be rolled out towards the end of August and during September uh, uh, this year. The amount of COVID-19 uh, application received and uh, paid to employers and employees as at the 19th of August 2020 uh, it stands at about 2.2 billion. Uh, that has been paid to 52,896 employers and 528,157 uh, employees that have benefited. UIF claims processed uh, between April and August from the province are 25,539 out of 26,000 
and 82 received and the payment process uh, are uh, 98,721 at the value of uh, about 436 million. The Board of the East London uh, Special Economic Zone approved implementation of a rental abatement which uh, will bring relief to industries located in the zone. Rental abatement uh, to qualifying zone enterprise for the period of uh, level 5 lo lockdown uh, for the four zone enterprises and office park tenants valued at 5.8 million. The Board of Cook has also approved the rental reduction and uh, deferment to be assessed uh, on the case-by-case -case basis. Granted rental reduction uh, totaling to 9.6 million to its investors. The amount is likely to increase over time as some of the holidays uh, are up uh, to September. This is the work we are doing to ensure that we protect the lives of our people against this uh, virus uh, at the same time uh, preserving uh, their livelihood that has almost uh, been destroyed by this pandemic. It is painful to see people losing jobs, losing their livelihood, losing the source of income they had. We call on the private sector to join the fight to save jobs by tapping into government grants to prevent retrenchment, make use of reserves to prevent cutting the jobs, create business opportunities for local businesses, support them with the finance so that people don't lose their jobs and income. Uh, but are assisted uh, to start their own businesses. This will sustain our people, especially the young people who have uh, bright and brilliant ideas but lack financial uh, finance and market. So it's going to be important that we focus more on SMME development, SMME support. This is where we can create jobs. You would understand that government can only co create a conducive environment uh, for the economic uh, uh, growth um, but business must come in and invest, so we must talk to business. That's why the issue of corruption becomes a threat uh, to our government uh, domestically and globally. So we've got to deal with that issue and confront it. Uh, you have seen us going out, uh, being more transparent as a province, announcing the lifestyle audit, especially in the cabinet, uh, taking out everything that government is doing, and we will be actually publishing all these uh, uh, transaction, no longer only PPE, whatever a transaction on a tender uh, will be totally publicized uh, consistently by our government moving forward. It is part of our attempt, our attempt to ensure that what government does, our people also uh, have a, a sense of the responsibility and government must be held accountable because this is the government of the people by the people for the people. So we are working hard as a province to get things done, uh, get ourselves organized. Uh, our business continuity has actually shown us that we were not as bad uh, in, in, in the first quarter. Yes, challenges of COVID-19 almost uh, made us to appear to be a bit sluggish uh, as we were trying to also adapt in a very difficult uh, coronavirus uh, dispensation. Thank you very much.